I'm going to disconnect the O2 sensor where it mounts to the frame. The little plastic clip that goes in. We're just going to pop that off. I got a body tool here, so that way we can easily get to the connector. See the whole connector and the actual lock clip. We're going to pull that up like that. So once you disconnected that, push up that safety, push down on that tab, and disconnect it. So now we're going to dismount the O2 sensor from the pipe. I have an O2 sensor socket. If you don't have one, it's a 22 millimeter wrench. I'm going to lock that on there. This vehicle has been running. I did that on purpose. So once the pipe heats up, it will release the threads so much easier. Make sure you disconnect it first before you break it free, because if not, you're just going to tangle the harness. So the new O2 sensor comes with a little bit of anti-seize on the actual thread. That's a good thing. Don't get it on the sensor. Now we can hand thread it in. Let the harness spin so it doesn't tangle up those wires. I like to snug it with my hand. I'll probably put this socket on, give it a good snug. Once it's bottomed out, I'm going to try to give it a good half turn. You want that crush washer to crush in place. That's good. Once you feel it bottom out and that crush washer gets down, you're all set. Now I'm going to untangle that twisted wire in there. I want it to have a little more flex. Now I can grab the harness from the vehicle, line up my connector until it clicks. Push down that white tab, locks it in place, and now we have a new tab that goes up on the frame rail. So now I'm just going to find that spot on the frame. There it is right there. Guide it over, push down, make sure it's stuck. Perfect.